Guys, deluded, your favourite YouTuber, YouTube's Lucas Torreira, I'm back again. Thank you for returning and them things there. And if you're new, you might as well hit the subscribe button because whether you agree with me or not, you're going to realise that I have some interesting things to say. Let's move on. Now, our young player, Steffi Mavididi, you guys know I love young players in general, specific to Arsenal. I mean, who doesn't, as on top of that, specific to Arsenal right now, who doesn't love young players coming through their academy or like to see how they develop personally? Whether you, your opinion of Raheem Sterling, for example, whether you think he's good or not, I take pride in the sense that I watched him go from playing under 16s for England, for example, and under 17s World Cup to doing that this year. I saw Asensio's rise for the under 19s um, Spanish side with Ceballos, and you've seen him win Champions League and all them things there. So I do like to see the rise. Even Nathan Redmond, he was in the same side as Sterling, and then he went to Birmingham, obviously played for Birmingham, he was at Norwich, then he went to Southampton. So you get, you get the point that I like this sort of stuff in it. So our young striker, Steffi Mavididi, he's a player I got a lot of joy watching. He was he's a natural born goal scorer at that level. I mean, he had don't get it twisted, he had an excellent technical ability, he was able to evade a man, he's he's, he's he was decent with his back to goal, he, he could play as a target man, he was very strong and pretty quick. Been unfortunate with injuries in the last couple of years, but he was someone that filled me with joy. He's a very prolific goal scorer and Almost a cult hero at that sort of level. I'm looking at the stats now on transfer, whatever transfer marked. I think they scored. Um, in in regards to his in in regards to his form for the under twenty threes. Like I said, he's a born goal scorer. He's got four assists. He's got in forty one appearances, twenty one goals. Um, obviously for the under nineteen side that took part in UEFA Champions League equivalent competitions, eighteen appearances, five goals. Modest. Um. For the under-18s Arsenal side, five appearances, two goals. That's definitely not right, in my opinion. Probably need to change that. That's definitely not right. Um, if it's right, I stand corrected, but that's definitely not right. Either way, he's come through the academy and gained his reputation as being a prolific goal scorer. Allegedly, he's moving to Juventus now, and he's flying or he's insuring to complete the deal to which he'll play in, the, he'll play in um, Serie C um, for Juventus B, which would be a decent move on the face of it. If I don't look at it as Juventus, but I'm going to get onto it, before I look at the event, he's going to be technically playing men's football. I believe that side is the first time. Again, I, I don't remember. I don't remember it word for word, but I've seen some things floating online that it's the fir first time or the first side competing in a while with, at that level from a B side. I don't know if that's true, but if it is, at least he's playing senior football consistently, and that's what he needs, which is better than the prospect of he, him currently technically in the under twenty threes Arsenal side. Um, yeah. So yeah, obviously if he moves there, it'll be a good move. I, I don't necessarily think it will be a good move. Um, I want it to, to happen for him because I love the guy. I think he's a good footballer. And it's sad that he hasn't even made one appearance at senior level um, at the club. But if you can't play at Arsenal um, with Lacazette or and then with Cristiano Ronaldo, the ball, because he can play on the flanks and he's decent there, people. And he did all right for Charlton there, getting a couple of assists, um, even though it says one, which I'm looking at now. But yeah, um. Obviously, the prospect of living in Italy and new life, um, new tactics, learning new things as a footballer, new experiences when you retire and all of these things that you can't turn down, you will look back and think it will fill you with joy. But if you can't get ahead of the Arsenal um, prospects and options, then Ronaldo, the Barlow can still play up there. If you play on the Franks, Quadraldo, Costa and these sort of guys, it's a bit of a myth. I want to be, I don't even say proven wrong because you guys clearly know the way I'm speaking of him. I want him to do it, but from a... If I was his friend or was his agent, I'd probably think, no, nah, this might not be the move. Maybe there's financial reward, I don't know. And I'm not suggesting he's like that. But considering he had interest from clubs in Germany, a lot of clubs that were known for developing young players, you would have thought at his age, 20, turning 21, kind of needing senior football, probably needing to settle down versus going on loan in the last couple of years. Um, that would have been the move, but he knows what's best for him more than himself. His people around him know what's best for him, and it's a decent move. I mean, he's good friends with Marcus McGain. He went to Barcelona. People might not think he makes it at Barcelona if he does or not. Um, I think it's tough to break in there, but he's made his debut. He's trained with the first team. He scored the other day for their B side. And if you look at him, he has Arsenal and Barcelona on his CV. Regardless of if he makes it at Barcelona and moves on, that's two good clubs to be educated at, and and that looks good on your CV. Because let's be honest, what agents when their club when their player needs a move or hasn't got a club hope that don't happen to him, they feel an interest. They're saying I've got this client. He's played for Arsenal. He's played for Barcelona. People, regardless, before they've seen you. They're going to get gassed versus if I say, OK, my client's no disrespect. He's played for Walsall and he's played for Barney. You're going to look, oh, he's not at the level. But if you think Barca and Arsenal, ah, oh, he must be a decent technical footballer and all of that. You'd think that, wouldn't you? So if he goes to Juventus, Arsenal, Juventus on the CV is good. Obviously, for me, if I'm a striker, um, I'm not too sure if you can learn much to, um, striking there. Obviously, In fact, that's naive. Obviously, you can. Hopefully, you get to train with Cristiano and them and learn movement and all of them sort of things there and back to goal and all of them. 
but the defending it is known for, as the school of um, defensive art it's a, it's, a, it's 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 the academy of defending if i was a fullback i would love to go there people so on the basis of it being defending and the best center halves on on the basis of what i'm saying not ability but the basis of their approach to defending that should make him a better striker if he's playing against people that really love defending and be tougher to break down and all of them sort of things there um it should be it should be good for him so we'll see what it is we'll see what he's saying for him um, for me, from a selfish point of view, obviously it it, it hurts, but it, it hurts me personally. But I get it. At twenty turning twenty one, he has to make a move best for himself. Like I said, he's been on a couple loan spells. Um, um at Charlton, at Preston, etc. Um, two at Charlton, one at Preston, and he needs to set. He needs to settle down roots. And obviously, Eddie and Ketty, he was younger than him, has got more of a look in on the cross for the first team. He hasn't made his debut. You've got Akpom, who more or less the same bracket in that they need to play and they're talented, have to move and not get a, a look in. So if you see one of your peers ahead of you and one not maybe give or take, he might be ahead of you, he might be below you. But he's in the first team and he's not really there like that. You've got to think, okay, maybe a change has got to happen. And like I said, he's he's good friends with McGain and he's good friends with Josh De Silva. So these men there must have sat there and, and thought about this at one point. I said this ain't the place to be for us personally at the age we're getting to. So yeah, from a selfish point of view, for me, of course, I didn't want to see him go. Um, I wanted to see him given every chance, whether you believe he can make it here or not. I at least wanted him to make his debut. But from another selfish point of view of mine, if we could see that, um, compare ourselves to the people we're playing on Saturday, Chelsea. If these youngsters that I'm about to name were playing for Chelsea, would they leave the club for peanuts, free transfers, and them things? If you're not going to allow these young players to make it at this club. Sell them for a decent profit so it can be re redistributed throughout the side. Obviously, a 5 mil or 3.5 mil, I'm not calling for these, I'm using it as an example. These are not much. But if you're getting a couple of them, three signings gone for that, it all adds up to get on safe. And if some of these players that you don't think can make it, but they become prolific at Championship or other Premier League level, you can move them on. If I can if I can um if I compare this to Chelsea, they're tying down their prospects whether they can make whether they believe they can make it there or not, and they're selling them. Jeremy Bogo, I'm so sure he signed a new deal a couple months back, only to now go set to, I believe, set Swallow. I can't even remember, I did a vid, which is bad. But he's gone. They've put a buyback clause. They're probably going to get a decent percentage if he if he sells it, if they sell him on. And they've got peas already for him. Obviously, it's, we, this is another debate to be had. But just from that point of view, we, we're, we're lacking because you've seen Chris Willett go for free, peanuts for Benassia. Um, Vlad Dragomir's obviously left for free. Kalen Hines, give or take, decent fee. Crowley departed. Um, um, Fortuna left for Fortuna left for free. Jeff left for peanuts. McGain left for a de um an okay fee. It's worth remembering. I actually don't know these fees. I'm just just on the basis that Arsenal got a fee for a young player is a madness for me. Josh De Silva's obviously walked for free. I don't know if we'll get a comp um compensation on the basis we he's under. He, he falls under that age group where if you off, offer the contract, I believe, and they decline it, then the other club has to give you some peas or it can go to a tribunal sort of thing, similar to a Manfred do at Chelsea. So there's that. Obviously, Daniel Malin departed the club. Oko Flex, who just left before he became a full-time scholar, unfortunately. Gnabry for peanuts. We've seen Virginia leave as well. All of these players that I've said, it's actually hurt me because I do believe if I look at that list, without my putting my love for young players away, I'd probably say that Virginia definitely could have become a first team player at some sort of capacity. Canabri definitely, Jeff if he was given a chance, and I believe Benassia, um, they'd definitely, uh, they'd be my definites to make it first team at some level. The likes of McGain, Josh De Silva, I even think Daniel Malin to a degree, um, but competition. Um, the likes of McGrain, Josh De Silva, um, Ocoflex, Crowley, Hines, they all could have made decent fees for the club. To be fair with you, whether you believe Crowley could have made it here or not for all the hype, but yeah. Obviously, for um, Ak um for all of us, I could say Akpom. I don't know why, um, because they were both playing together and stuff like that. But um, Steffi, as for Steffi's mummy, did he's very prolific at, at at youth level, but it's trials and tribulations trying to replicate that at men's level, which sadly some young strikers don't do, like James Wilson at United, for example, wherever he is. Um, for if you look at what for playing for Charlton, twenty appearances, two goals, one assist. Some of them have been on the flanks, and it, not of all of them have been ninety minutes, and it's been minutes here and there. So it's not entirely fair to say this, but twenty assists, two goals, under twenty three level, twenty one goals for forty one. Do you see what I'm saying? This probably got if you're a Championship club or League One, you're trying to get out of them leagues or solidify yourself. You need to kind of get guarantees from your strikers, and this is probably what goes against young players. They look at this and they're like, "Yeah, he's got potential. Might bring him on, but can I rely on him?" Um, you can if you give him a chance, but who knows? So yeah, he needs to assert himself in um, senior level. He's been very unlucky with injuries, especially when he gets a good patch of form. Especially Charlton, his loan spell at Preston, it, it, he made eleven appearances, but that wasn't a good loan spell for him.
when we re really got to look in. But it's good because it's trials and tribulations of a young player. Obviously, him leaving, I don't want to say it opens up the pathway, but it, it you can kind of, it kind of puts a spot, spotlight on young Balogun, for example, John Jules, who, who, I, who I believe is decent, and in the next couple of years, we might see what he's on. Alfie Matthews can play up front, I believe, first year scholar. I ain't seen too much of him, too tough, seeing little bits here and there. I'm keen to see what he's on. So these sort of players should be licking their lips because at the end of the day, it's about competition. If you see one of your, your, your friends, and I'm not saying your rivals, but... It's cutthroat, this football thing, in it? So if you're seeing a couple of these strikers around you at Arsenal, you're going training, you're seeing Mavididi, you're seeing Eddie, you're seeing all these other strikers that you're trying to rival, you're seeing a couple leave and things like that, then you're going to think, boom. Obviously, I get Steffi Mavididi leaving because, obviously, on all the point, on top of the, all the points I've said, it's not like you really had a looking from the new manager, you know, Emre, so it's time to keep it pushing. I hope he, he does his thing. And you saw me say in previous vids, I made a vid about if I'm certain young players, if I'm them, I'll depart the club. And I said it would be him. Like, I don't know anything about football, but I'm able to look at things and tell you these things. So, yeah, he's kept it moving. If I'm Ben Ch Chief, I, I like him. I think he can have a career. If I'm him, I'm probably looking to keep it stepping and stepping as well. I personally would love Christian Bielik to play here, but I'm very pessimistic on, on just on the current trend of the names I've even given you as an example of the Chelsea example. The current trend, there's still a pathway. You see in Nelson, you see in Maitland now, Eddie's there. You can't have 11 players, but it is sad because some of these players... Definitely could have made more money for this club. Definitely could have been integrated into the first team. You see what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. These things happen. Good luck to Steffi, and I hope he does. He, he does, I hope he does his thing there. To be fair with you, on that note, I've got nothing more to say, guys. Deluded. Get in the comments, subscribe, and do the rest. I'm out. Cheers for watching. Bang.